There is an absolutely violent story in Numbers chapter 25. We spoke yesterday about the heresy of Peor, about the Israelite people getting in bed with the Midianites, both literally and figuratively, and God brought a plague upon his people. Because again, there's all kinds of disease and toxicity. There's all kinds of contamination that happens when you get involved with toxic people, when you get involved with licentious people, when you get involved with dirty people. And God is trying to cleanse this contamination out of the camp. And one of the priests, a guy by the name of Phineas, sees what's going on and he identifies one particular couple that are really at the center of it. And he grabs a spear and he finds this couple in the middle of the night and they're having sex together. They're lying down together and he takes a spear and he drives it through both of their bodies, pinning them to the ground. And in a moment, the plague that has been affecting Israel is gone and everyone connects the dots between sexual immorality, idolatry, and the plague, and the people of God once more repent. Now, this is a really hard story for us to accept, because um, I certainly don't want any of my church people running around skewering adulterers, adulterers. I certainly don't want them running around violently attacking people who are quote-unquote immoral. That seems dramatically inconsistent with the way of Jesus. And yet, in my own life, I realize Sometimes when you got sin inside of you, the only way to move forward is to violently, intolerantly cut it out. I mean, like you might find that some of your behaviors, some of your, some of your habits, some of the things that you watch on television or some of the things that you listen to, you might find that those are, are really corrupting you. And so maybe you try and reduce the amount of time that you spend on Instagram, or maybe you try and call through the people you follow on TikTok, or maybe you hide a bunch of people in your Facebook feed, or maybe you limit the amount of news that you can watch each day. But the truth is, sometimes we got to cut that stuff out deeper and deeper and more and more and more aggressively. Now, that's not to say that those things are necessarily you know, evil in and of themselves, but Jesus said, you'll know a tree by its fruit. And I can tell you, for me, there's seasons where I got to purge so much of what's involved in my life because it's, it's a sin that so easily besets me. And the only way I can move forward spiritually is to cut it out. So there've been huge seasons where I've done a social media fast or a social media purge. There've been huge seasons where I've stopped reading fiction, huge seasons where I've stepped away from the news, huge seasons where, where I've said, Lord, this is a time where I'm going to fast from those things so I can devote myself to you. This is a time when I'm going to take a vow to step away from those things for a season so I can devote myself to you. And we, we carve that stuff out of our hearts. We carve that stuff out of our imagination so that we can be wholly devoted to God. Because the truth is some of that stuff contaminates, some of that stuff infects, and there's a plague in our spirit that can only be removed when we say, you know what? Enough's enough for me. I'm serving God and I'm getting rid of this nonsense. And I think that's what's, what's so admirable about Phineas back then, thousands of years ago. That's what you and I can learn from him right now is there comes a time when enough's enough and you're the only person who can make that choice. You're the only person who can carve the sin out of your heart who can repent, get right with God, and then rejoice as God takes that contamination away. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace.